The ancient Egyptians found a way to be able to preserve a body after it died by removing the water from it. Believe it or not, you can do the same thing at home using an apple. It's pretty simple, watch this. You're gonna just take a peeler and you're gonna peel away the skin on the apple all the way around like this. Nice and clean all the way around until it looks something like that, right? Now, we're just gonna carve out some eyes here like this. <laughs> How about the little nose there? That's good enough, because what we're gonna try to do is to remove the water from the apple. The way that we're gonna do that is using some simple chemicals that you have at home to form a desiccant or something that will pull that water out. And so this is what you're gonna need, salt, and baking soda. So if you combine salt and baking soda, uh, kind of in a one-to-one -one ratio here, if you look at this, this is our mixture. Let's put this down inside like this, and let's start adding our desiccant. Now the trick here is to pull the water out of that apple and still preserve its uh, same proportion. So we want the face to look good, and we want it to shrivel up all the same way, and that seems to be just about right. And now, you gotta wait. So this is gonna sit off to the side and we're just gonna let the water come out. So as we're starting to pull this out here like this, oh, uh, there it is. You see it in there? All right. This is great. Look at this guy here. You're starting to see it being preserved here. You can see that the moisture is being pulled out of that apple. Now here's one that we've dried off completely. So you can kind of take a look and see the differences that are here, or even this little guy that's been sitting here and you try to preserve it as well. It's a simple way for you to be able to put the mixture together and do the same thing the ancient Egyptians did. The secret is to pull that water out uh, and try to keep it in proportion so you can make your own mummified apple. <laughs>